I've seen my fair share of 49 Bowmans, and I love cards that are like twos, threes, fours. They're, they, you know, offer you a lot of room usually for an improvement. But this one is almost, I don't want to jinx myself, but almost too good to be true. This is a two. And now, yes, I know it's dirty. It's got, I know it's got creases, but they're not breaking the surface. The corners are not sharp, 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 nor the edges, but I mean, a two? Yeah, it's got room for a lot, a lot of room for a rehab, I believe. Look at the back. Eh, maybe it's in the two range, but for a rehab purpose, we can fix all these edges Get rid of that crease. Make the card clean. And since none of these bad boys broke the paint, you know, they might linger in there a little bit, but I think we can make a nice turnaround. So ideal uh, card for, for a soak to start the process. So thanks for watching, you guys. I'm Kurt with Kurt's Card Care. And I love all kinds of cards, but vintage ones are just awesome. Just fun to work on too. So let me kill this light and I'll show you what we're doing. So. Just putting, I'm using a small toast saucer. I'm using my card spray, about an ounce of it. And I find that with these old beauties, cards from the 30s, 40s, 50s, even into the early 60s, since they were mainly paper and print, I don't know a better way to take care of them than give them like a gentle soak like this. And, you know, watch all these old air bubbles come out of them and all the, uh, the dirt and all the moisture that you know has evaporated in these cards over the years just give them a good fresh rehab like this and they come out great so we'll just let satchel mr leroy page hang out in there for i'm going to do this for i'm going to set my timer for 35 minutes that's all it will need and then uh, it will be a simple process we'll take it out and we will dry the card slowly between uh card mats it's probably going to be a day and a half to two day project, but I bet you it's gonna be worth it and it's gonna look really good. Stay tuned. All right, let's get to the next step. I let the satchel card soak for just about 35 minutes. And you guys can see the, the spray did its job. We got, um, it will change color like that and pull all the, you know, old dirts and junk out that it can get out. So what the next step is, is you just wanna be careful. I always use a, just an extra penny sleeve just to get under the card so you're not digging around for it in there. And we'll put the dirty spray to the side and then we'll put the card down right there. So the next step is I'll just get a microfiber and dry out everything that I can dry out. we're going to start the drying process and might as well start it off with a little assistance from the towel and here's the fun part about the drying process this is all part of it so you take it out and you're like oh man i still got that crease in there you know what am i going to do don't let it, don't worry about it the process that we're going to do next of the slow and methodical drying process of just Letting it unpack and dry will hopefully raise that right out of there. All right, so I'm just putting a couple card mats on top and bottom, a couple plates, and it is early evening here, so I'm gonna be able to change out the mats, flip out these mats over and over, because when they're sitting on the wet card, they're gonna start pulling the moisture out, which is good, but you gotta get rid of it, so you gotta keep changing them out. So I'm gonna do that for the rest of the evening I'll be diligent. I'll do it every hour. So it's uh, it's something that you can do to speed up the process all while keeping it as a pretty controlled, slow um, drying process. But check it out. I think it's going to look a lot better. Look at that color. All right, stay tuned. I'm excited to show you what we do next. Final stages. Let's do the reveal of the Beautiful 1949 satchel page. Now, I let the card rest for a couple days, changed out the mats. When it comes to the 49 Bowmans, the Gaudi cards, the thicker cards, they take a little bit to dry, but don't rush that process. Let them dry because during that whole drying process, they'll help still kick out the little dents and the little wrinkles and stuff. So let me show you where we ended up. 
Now that looks fantastic. I'm so happy that I, one of my favorite parts about an vintage restoration is getting the card back to as clean as you can. We had that big gnarly crease going across the card. God, it's almost all the way out of there. You can still like see where the remnants are. So if you still see a little bit of remnant, that's normal guys when you're doing your cards. Any type of stretch, any type of uh, big crease will cause a stretch. So also had that big crease on the back and uh, that's all but gone. So fun, man. I hope my demonstrations help you guys out. Thanks for watching this one. And I'll show you more best practices and cool things that uh, I can teach you ASAP. I am Kurt with Kurt's Card Care.